All right, so before I start this video, I'm coming to India in the month of June. Uh, there's a Google form I have attached right here. There are instructions going to, you know, select which program you want to attend. I'm doing event for masters or if you want to study bachelors or if you're a job seeker. Go ahead and fill this form out. I'm coming to around 30 cities of India. You can go ahead and select your city if it's there in this. Also, you can go on to nikshala.com, go to personal sessions if you want to talk to me directly and discuss about your profile. Uh, you can go and book the appointment. Um, if you're looking for a solution for admissions, we have designed a lot of mentorship programs. So one of the you know recent ones what I'm seeing used by a lot of students now is the uh, one which is for 12 months program. And uh, these are the areas what it covers basically you get admission and visa support all right guys welcome back once again so i'm sitting here with my friends they are currently studying in the frankfurt university of applied sciences masters in what high integrity systems high integrity systems which yeah. is part of computer science yes yeah. yes totally based on computer science computer science yeah so before we get into any of these details uh, how about like you both quickly give us like a 30 second introduction about yourself and then we'll go deep into the topic yeah, yeah. i'm from ranchi jharkhand and I've done my bachelor's in Bangalore mm -hmm. and I'm from uh, electronics and communication background mm -hmm. in my bachelor's and then I worked in Infosys for four years, for four, four and a half years and there I was working as a software test engineer mm -hmm. and then somehow I decided to do my master's I so see. then I finalized Germany as the country where I want to study mm -hmm. so I came here and I'm currently studying this course called as HIS mm -hmm. and uh, how much are you scoring your bachelor's? Um, bachelor's, I scored 8.2 CGPA. 8.2. And yeah. did you give any GRE? No, I didn't give anything. I just gave, wrote a IELTS. Okay. But like in IELTS, how much you scored? Um, there I scored 7.5. 7.5. Yeah. Cool. Alright. You? Yeah, I come from Bangalore, India. And I studied my um, bachelor's in electrical and electronics engineering. Mm -hmm. Then I got a job in Bosch in car automotive. I worked there for like six years, nine months exactly. Mm -hmm. Then I thought, okay, I mean, I would wanted to study from long. Then I uh, thought this is the right time. Then I enrolled in masters, uh, and I came here because Germany. I was always coming because Germany was my first priority, and I always wanted to be here. So right, right. And then you also said, like in those six, seven years of work experience, you also had a deputation here. Yes. For yes. how long? For six months. Okay. Cool. So All right. worked here and seen the place, city, the culture, and. I thought right. it's good for students and mm -hmm. I was right here. Right, right, right. One of the things what I'm noticing is since it's a very much focused around CS, right? Yeah, computer, computer science. science yeah. Um, but you both don't come from computer science background. Yeah. So no. this is one of the plus point in our course. I don't think you will find any other colleges or there are a few, but it is very difficult for people coming from electronics background, right? That's and maybe from uh, electrical background to get into computer science here in a public university. Mm -hmm. If you want to get into a private university, you can do that. But to switch from electronics to computer science, it is difficult. But here uh, in our university, it is possible if you have good work experience, mm -hmm. at least around two and a half, three years, yeah. that should work. I think three plus is good enough to get into a course because they calculate that. I and see. on top of that, if you have any German language, a certification even a A1 that would also help because you have to write in the form when mm -hmm. you do it in uni assist mm -hmm. you have to mention that yeah, but that's so not that a mandatory thing that's not a mandatory thing, thing. Yeah, but, but if you're switching your field right because yeah. there are students from computer science as well in our I course see. okay but for us it is kind of difficult mm -hmm. yeah but yeah this university is possible it is like a hidden gem for electronics people I, I would say so more or less same but uh, good my I had like 1.7 CGPA in my bachelor's and my IELTS was seven and I got like a couple of opportunities in embedded systems and this was the only computer science course that I could grab I see okay. same. so okay I mean otherwise they are giving conditional admits where we have to fulfill data structures and algorithm courses mm -hmm. so this is the only university they uh, they calculate based on your work experience no mm -hmm. matter what background you're coming from so that carries a lot of weightage and this is so good and curriculum is as good as up to the industry market that you will be learning all the things like data science and data analysis and a lot of uh, database management stuff so it's good Okay. Yeah, the course is actually good. Yeah. Can you give me more detail? Yeah, so I can tell you about my course. So you will cover topics such as 
uh, data analysis, data mining, machine learning, artificial intelligence. You will study IT security, uh, testing methods like software testing. And then there are many electives. You can design course based on what you like. And yeah. it is actually done from a multidisciplinary approach. Mm -hmm. So, but it is morely revolving around, I would say, data science and machine learning and, also and there's also something called cloud computing yeah. and also IOT if yeah. you are interested right. yeah. so you can choose them and safety critical software development as well as so well. there's so many things how to apply for this course so the application is via uni assist and there are a set of documents which you will find in the uh, official website of our course uh, of the college and there you can uh, write down what all documents you need to prepare and then you have to apply via uni assist I see. Okay. Yeah. Do you remember the document? Yeah, so you have to prepare your uh, letter of motivation mm -hmm. or the SOP, then your IELTS card, all your um, Transcript. documents, transcripts from your bachelor's, your work experience certificate, if you have a German language certificate, then that, and uh, letter of recommendations, mm -hmm. if you have that. Also from your colleagues or somebody from your office, that is also uh, really good. So yeah. apart from the one from uni uh, professors that you get from the university, mm -hmm. it's also good if you can get one letter of motivation, uh, letter of recommendation from your colleague from yeah. office. Yeah, but one from uh, your bachelor's university is also very good yeah. because here also when your profile is being evaluated, so most of the time professors are reading your letter of recommendation, right? Yeah. So they want to know how uh, the professor from your bachelor feels about you. How yeah. good you are, you would be in in his class. Yeah. So yeah, so that is also one you should get one from your uh, bachelor's. Bachelor's yeah, as well. As well, yeah. Okay. So two LORs are recommended for that. Yeah, two is more than enough. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um. So I took all of these documents. I applied on the uh, uni assist portal. Yeah. Yeah. And the next is you wait for six to eight weeks time. I believe. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, which other universities did you apply? And um. Before anything, like earlier the better. Of course, yeah. Yeah, yeah so of course. Uh, I have applied uh, for, um, you know, because I want started applying for TUK uh, at the beginning, um, electrical and computer science combined, because given the background that I had, if I had to no get into uh, any technical university, so I had, I can't just get into a computer science just like that, because uh, given that you don't have sufficient credits in computer science. So mm -hmm. I was applying for a hybrid course. I see. Then applied for Stuttgart and the Frankfurt University of Applied Science and Freiburg University. Mm -hmm. And also University of Bonn in Autonomous Systems. Mm -hmm. I have received admits from Freiburg in Embedded Systems mm -hmm. and fr uh, in Frankfurt University I've got this high integrity and Bonn I, got, I also got Autonomous Systems. Wow. It's a, it's a that is also for Hochschule, like uh, it's a University of Applied Science. Mm -hmm. So even it's more into robotics and other stuff. So it's great. But uh, I've already enrolled here, and um, I, I mean I was more inclined towards Frankfurt because of the opportunities that one can get here. I see. So that is one main takeaway that why I chose this. Got it. What about you? So I had applied in uh, Hochschule Stuttgart, not the Stuttgart, I had also applied in Stuttgart University, mm -hmm. but I was more interested in a course there in the University of Applied Sciences Stuttgart. Then I applied in OVGU, mm -hmm. uh, Magdeburg. Magdeburg. Mm -hmm. Yeah, then I applied in Koblenz Landau, mm -hmm. um, Paderborn, and a couple of more I can't remember now. Okay. But for me, it was the same case that apart from OVGU, and this university I was not getting anywhere where the course is focused on computer science. Yes. In electronics I was able to get admits like easily mm -hmm. maybe but to switch this it was difficult. I so see. then I chose this field because Magdeburg is not a very big city and then Frankfurt you have more opportunities here. Mm -hmm. So then I decided okay, okay let me take this. Yeah. Okay. And you guys are not paying any tuition fees do you? No, no, no. Uh, so no this is a public fees. university so it's funded by the government. Just the so no semester fees. contribution. Yeah. Which is how much? Uh, 375. 375. 373. Yeah. Including your uh, semester ticket. Yeah, so it's 375 I would say. What about like part time job situation in Frankfurt as a student? I think you have quite, like you have so many opportunities here. Uh, due to COVID, uh, I think market is a little bit down but still if you keep trying, it is possible to get a part-time job and here you have the opportunity to work in technical jobs like a work student job mm -hmm. or else you have uh, of course you have opportunities to do something manual jobs right mm -hmm. maybe in a warehouse maybe some delivery jobs pizza yeah. and things like that so 
you have both the options right yeah. right but many of my batchmates have already started they are working okay. so they are getting uh, technical jobs as well i see so if I I see. you can work maybe 10 or 20 hours a week mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. yeah that kind of arrangement can be done with your employer moving forward uh, what specialization you both would like to specialize yourself in uh, i am looking at uh, something into data analysis and also a bit of machine learning uh, mm-hmm. want to get, gather this knowledge so that going forward i can also uh, you know incorporate this machine learning in the, in whatever skills i have acquired so far i see so okay i mean now machine learning is so much generic that you can apply in any field that you are going into because to make the system more and more advanced and more human so i mean it's not like only this area you can apply so this is something everybody has to learn maybe in near future mm-hmm. so that's something i'm trying to learn here with the course i see okay what were you so since i have four year of experience already in software testing yeah. so i would stick with quality assurance that's my plan but here i'm studying a lot of different kind of subjects and few subjects seems interesting to me so maybe i'll switch so i don't have a very fixed path mm-hmm. but uh, yeah i think i will stick with software testing but i would choose to go into a machine learning or data science a domain as well yeah as also as an alternate path i also look for co- cloud computing because uh, aws as you are as also something that you know um, people are looking at and also companies are looking forward to if somebody has skills in uh, web web related or cloud related technologies so that's also something that you know if you want your career here that we have some courses that mm-hmm. will take you to choose that path i see so Go that's ahead. also i mean iot which is mainly processing in the cloud and also the cloud computing maybe we would learn more about this technologies amazon web services azure from microsoft mm-hmm, yeah. so how do you compute some stuff over the cloud so so things are there but we haven't read them I and see. these yeah. those subjects will come and maybe the next maybe semester. the next semester yeah good so one last thought of yours and then we end the video ah uh, i would say frankfurt is wonderful mm-hmm. if you are planning to come to germany this uh university should be in your list of your shortlisted colleges this university is great the course is also very good if you are get, uh, trying to get into data analysis or cloud computing or iot even in it security where you deal with encryption and some things mm-hmm. where you take care of security stuff in companies this is a very good course i would say and city is also really good where we have a lot of opportunities um and these days peop- it's all online and you can look for a lot of uh, opportunities in remote work as well i mm-hmm. would say so this uh, advice would be accommodation i would say because you can figure out rest of the things after coming here mm-hmm. so apply as early as possible even the application any everything ever pre pre plan up front mm-hmm. i mm-hmm. think that's so uh, key point when you come to germany all right guys so that's all what we have uh, thank you so much for yeah. coming on my channel thank you and thank you for uh, having us yeah and uh, if you guys really enjoyed this or if you think that we left out some questions unanswered uh, please straight away get in touch with the administration of the university i'm sure they are the right people to answer your question and uh, yeah on that note i'll see you guys next time and yes if you enjoyed this video go ahead and hit that thumbs up button and we'll see you guys next time peace out